brief demonstration of how to use Positive Builder, used to generate positive and negative images for hard training. First thing we need to do is look at the configuration file. There's a couple of keys in there that uh, will need to be modified. Again, Positive Builder can build positive and negative images. Um, it was originally originally put together to build positive images. Um, negative Im images were an add-on. It's quite simple. There's not much to do there. Um, but if you're trying to build positive images, the first couple of uh, keys in the configuration file will need to be modified. Um, positive Builder works off of a video file. Essentially, you load in a video, and you step through the video frame by frame, cropping each frame as you go. Right? And you're cropping the object that you would like to build the classifier for. We'll go through that in a moment. So that's what the video file key is. Um, load up your directory of where, whichever video that you'd like to load into the application. Okay. The next one is positives file. This is the text file that's generated constantly throughout um, working through the positive builder. And what it's going to do is it's going to make a couple entries into the positive text. It's got that open here, and you can see the first the first entry is essentially the image that is generated from Positives Builder. The next one um, it, it, it was hard-coded in the application for one because all of the images that we were working with, there was one instance of the positive object in each frame. However, if there were multiple, what you would do is you would change that to two, three, four, etc. And then you would have these corresponding coordinates for as many iterations or as many times as, as the object was shown in the, in the frame. But again, this is hard-coded, so we have one, so we have four numbers after that. And the first one is the X position, so 290 is the X, 166 is the Y, 111 is the width, and 102 is the height. And those are the coordinates with inside of this image of where the object is located. So to use the word crop is somewhat misleading. We're not actually cropping the image, we're picking out the coordinates of where our object is located. Okay, and this is this is what's used. This positives dot text is what's used in the, in the training and the classification and later later steps in the process. The next key, the next relevant key is the image directory, IMG directory, and this is simply a, a a directory located wherever on your machine, where it's going to save each positives image, each positive image rather. And again, that's what's located in the positives.txt. So every time you crop an image, it's, it's, it's making another entry in this text file. It's saving us. Um, as you can see, this key corresponds to, um, or rather this destination, this directory corresponds to the IMG directory key that's in the configuration. Um, the next two, the next three are really straightforward. IMG name prefix. This is helpful for if you're doing multiple videos and you want to make some sort of distinction um, which, which images are associated with which video. So all of your images will have the prefix, in this case, horse. We also have an IMG index begin. This is simply, um, again, we'll open up the, the text file here. We can see it's going to append it with an underscore index. Um, index value, and this is where the index begins. So in this case, maybe we had 39 images prior to beginning this video. So we decided we would we would pop in 40. We would start another chunk of images beginning at 40. So this is this is important to know and, and remember to update each time you run it. If you're looking to um, add more images to the directory, you don't want to overwrite those images. So you want to increment your index. And then the final key is IMG negatives. This has nothing to do with positives at all. Um, simply where your images will be stored if you're building negatives. Okay, so let's run through the application real quick. Um, and as you can see, we loaded up um, the application and, and automatically we're loading zionwalking.avi. So here's the first frame. What I do is I just, I, I, I'm, I'm interested in cropping this horse and rider. So I just take... Uh, my first my first position which is the x and y value associated in the file i move over and i'm essentially creating a width and a height and i drop it and once those those um those two lines are in play the next thing i can look over in my directions and here's my options um, if i'm interested in cropping it i hit s 
right? That's going to load that into. It's going to it's going to create a new entry in my positive stat tax. It's also taking the coordinates of where I where I um, laid those out in the image. Okay. Um, if I want to go to the next frame, simply next frame is Q. I can step through this as much as I want. You know, whatever level of detail you'd like, go a couple frames, go as many as you'd like. Now, to do negatives, all I do here is increment a frame, hit the hit my end button, and we're saving the full the full frame as a negative. Now, of course, that's not applicable to this image because it contains the object that I'm interested in tracking. But if you had an image, uh, rather a video, of just walking around and you wanted to snag a bunch of negatives out of it, that's the way you do it, quick and simple. And, of course, escape to quit. So that's it. Certainly, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, my website, quotientrobotics.com. Thanks.